It's the final game of a three and three for the Binghamton Devils on the road behind me. XL Center in Hartford, Connecticut, where the Devils will look for two wins in a row. The Wolfpack getting some help back from the New York Rangers. We'll tell you about that a little bit later on. Big win in overtime last night for the Devils over the defending Calder Cup champion Toronto Marlies. Yeah, I thought uh, I thought the team that deserved to win the game won the game. I thought we played well from the onset. Um, uh, we were ready to go, played fast. That was their third in, in three nights. Um, you know, I, I think you could see a little bit of legginess in them, but uh, I thought we played really well. They were good enough to to, to get back in the game, um, but uh, big goal late. Nick Saracino would score two power play goals. At one point, the Devils were clicking at 100% on the man advantage. Toronto would fight back and in that third period, tie the game to eventually force overtime. And then in overtime, Colton White, Blake Pietela both had a whack at the puck. And it looks like Pietela will finally get credit for it. For the Binghamton Devils on the road today in Hartford. Uh, looking forward to it, you know. Um... I think when you play that well, you want to get back after it right away, which we're going to do. The New York Rangers sending back some help for the Hartford Wolfpack. Ryan Lindgren, Vinny Latiri, and John Gilmore all expected to be in the lineup here today. Let's take a look at the team-by-team -team comparison with the victory last night for the Binghamton Devils. They advanced to 27-39-6-0, hit the 60-point mark. Still, though, in that eighth-place spot in the North Division. For the Hartford Wolfpack, 28-34-7-3-66 points. They are also in that eighth and final spot in their division which is the Atlantic. Bit of a skid for the Wolfpack though right now. However, they did get some help back as we just said, but in the past 6 0 5 1 and 0 and just two wins in the past 10 games. Devils and Wolfpack at 3 o'clock. You can tune in beginning at 2.40 with the Close Quarters pregame show on Fox Sports Radio, 14.30. You can also tune in on the Binghamton Devils website. Also, the free mobile app. You can listen there or watch the game on AHL. TV. The Devils will wrap everything up for the 2018-19 season next weekend, Friday night on the road in Rochester, then back home Saturday night against the Laval Rocket Fan Appreciation Night at 7.05 p.m. at the arena. Get it started with the downtown doubleheader. For just 20 bucks, you can watch the Binghamton Rumble Ponies baseball game earlier that afternoon at 2 p.m. and then come on over to the Devils game at 7.05. We're getting everything started, though, with a block party outside the arena at 4.30. Drinks, games, food. We'll have a couple of players out there as well, so come out and hang out with us beginning at 4.30. Then head inside when the doors open. Mike Colson Insurance Team Photo Giveaway at the Merchandise Stand or at the UHS Fan Zone on the backside of the concourse, or you can check it out at the Binghamton Devils Sales Table as well. They are free. Throughout the game, giveaways including a Jack Sherman Toyota car. You can also get autographs from the Binghamton Rumble Ponies prior to puck drop on the concourse and then stay after the game as the Devils will be giving away their game you sticks from that contest. You can sign up right now for that and your chance to win a stick on the Binghamton Devils mobile app. Download it right now for free. A ton going on and then the Devils will wrap it up on Sunday afternoon in Wilkes-Barre Scranton to take on the Penguins. But for now, 3 p.m. puck drop from downtown Hartford from XL Center. We hope you can tune in.